rivalry. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns, and it's all up next. On a brisk but clear night on the lakeshore, EA Sports brings you coverage of the NFL from Cleveland Browns Stadium in downtown Cleveland. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football gives their defense a break and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Dustin Hopkins has this one teed up, and we are underway here in Cleveland. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So the new-look Steelers offense headed out for their first drive, led by a man in his 13th NFL season now. First is a Steeler, Russell Wilson. After a tough couple of years in Denver, Wilson finally gets his fresh start, and he's certainly hoping to make the most of it. Truthfully, though, it's been tough sledding ever since being traded from Seattle a few years back. But he still has the talent and tools to make this next chapter a positive one. And here's Wilson to throw right away. Fighting to stay up, but in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. Our first carry for Najee Harris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Browns will take over first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led out by a man raised in Alabama, went to Florida State. It's their quarterback, Jameis Winston. And we're talking about one of the league's true extroverts in the quarterback position. For better or worse, he's going to throw the ball all over the field. And that aggressive approach is one of the main reasons why they went after him in free agency. First carry for Nick Chubb. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. 
Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Working out of the gun, Winston. Into the hands of Cedric Tillman. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Steelers are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Harris running straight ahead. Pushes him aside at the 45. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A solid stiff arm. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Here's one deep for Pickens. Oh, and that is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. They hand this off to Harris, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now it's Wilson. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. We're scoreless after one.
Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Wilson. He finds Pickens over the middle. The result only four yards there on the play and it's second down. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now a 7-0 game. That time, a nine-play drive, and it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Jameis to throw it. Gets this over the middle to Tillman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. They go play action. Winston, they'll roll him out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. T.J. Watt, the all-pro, in there to take him down. But you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third-grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15 from the shotgun. It's Winston. Pass complete to Judy on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. We're backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. 
Now Winston. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On fourth down, Corey Bajorquez gets set to punt for Cleveland. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. Najee Harris and the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. They'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. On the give, this is Harris. Now he's loose at the 40, and he will be taken down, but not before he gets this to the Browns, 33. 85 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Now that's a big-time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now. Down at the 33. Now runs straight ahead with Warren. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Wilson to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Wilson. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds Austin complete. 
Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And the Browns going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Now Winston. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. A promising sign there from an offense that hasn't done a whole lot to this point. Nice job to locate the open receiver. And it's good yardage and a first down to open the drive. Throwing Winston. They'll get this complete to Tillman. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now second and three. Here's Winston. Oh, nice move. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. Hopkins' kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. That's going to be taken at the goal line, and he'll return it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. <laughs> the 
The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Off the play fake, Winston. This one downfield for Tillman. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Now a second and ten. the middle it's Chubb and they'll wind up getting this to the 37 gain of nine getting had a ton of success here so far but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one yeah even on that one there was a little bit of a hole but it closed there quickly at the end a yard all they need but it's third down, He's the rock down the field. here's Winston For a big guy, Jameis sure can move. Did a nice job there picking up the first down with his legs. Has not been a big game for him throwing the football. I think he feels like, let's try something different. Let's use the legs here and see if we can make some plays. And no passing touchdowns, yardage not where he would like it. Try something new, it worked there. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and 10. Time to shine, fellas. And again, it's Chubb. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Now a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, it looked good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Play fake. Winston. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 34-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them in the gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. To throw, Winston. Flushed out right. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And Chubb will try the middle here. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down.
Second down and a little more than a yard here. Winston now. Right back to Judy, and it's complete. And the Browns are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Now they send a man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Chubb will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. It took them until the final minute of the third quarter to get their first touchdown of the ball game, but now they're right back in this. They needed something on this drive to really change their fortunes, get them headed in the right direction, and they got it with the touchdown run. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that drive spans 13 plays. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Steelers offense and running back Najee Harris set to take over once more. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On the give, it's Warren. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. Knotted up here at 10. That's our score as we begin quarter number four. Here's Wilson. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. The Steelers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Now Wilson. And that's incomplete. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. The Steelers send out their punter now. 
as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken around the 12. I call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Cleveland offense making their way out. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Winston. This is the tight end, the Joker. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. A give running right is Chubb. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. From the 35, back to work on second and four. To throw is Winston. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Winston. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available in incompletion as a result. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And they'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. From the 24 now, here's second down and eight. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Now third down and seven. To throw is Wilson. He's airing it out for Williams. And got his man complete. They'll have the first down and more than that. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Mike Williams, 76 yards. And the Steelers strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Yeah. 
The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On play action, Winston. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play there. Second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second down. Here's Chubb again. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. Throwing is Wilson. A short one there to Fryermuth. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does.
Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now Wilson. He'll let it fly for Austin. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Winston readies the offense. Down by seven, just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Jameis to throw it. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Here's a second and seven. Winston to throw. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field? Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Winston. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Here's second down. Now Winston. He's gotten a jump to his big tight end. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's first and ten. Here's Winston. Right back to Njoku. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. That's going to be caught by Judy. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Another try from the 14 on second and 10. Back to throw. Open man, he completes it to Judy. Showed off the juke, but still corralled shy of the five at the six-yard line. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way 
to gash the defense downfield. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And we may very well be headed to overtime. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the touchdown at PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. This is first and 10. Harris starts to drive on the ground. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Four quarters not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So it's the Browns who are going to get possession first here in overtime as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Tackled that time by Joey Porter, Jr. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Oh, and it's intercepted. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. What a big-time interception that is here on the first drive of overtime. And now, Charles, they're already knocking on the door with a short field. Remember, all they need is three points to win this game. And that thinking just can't limit them on offense. The playbook should still be wide open. Get a first down, maybe two. Do it safely. Nice throws that your quarterback can make. Nice runs that your running backs like but make sure you get yourself in position and let your kicker have at it. Yeah. 
Now a first down carry for Harris. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. They'll run again with Harris. Powering forward. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 116 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Harris running straight ahead. Shedding the tackle and it gives him some room. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Seven yards there and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They hand this off to Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They've had some success here in overtime with this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. And absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. So it's a win here for the Steelers, and it was thanks largely due to the play of the quarterback, CD, a guy who's been doing it for a while, and that's Russell Wilson. Yeah, he really had his A game tonight. He threw a couple of touchdown passes, and he's instrumental in earning this victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Cleveland.